everybody. Hi there. So good to see everyone today. Yes. I know. hope y'all are having a good week. So today we're going to do something a little bit different than we normally do. And we're going to talk about um, Palm Sunday through Easter because we won't be together. We won't have Bible Buzz on the Easter day, April the 4th. But we're having it today, which is Palm Sunday, if you're watching it today on Palm Sunday, which is March 28th. And so, shall we say our Bible verse? Let's do it. All right. Let's say it. Okay. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. You guys are getting so good at that. I know, y'all really are. We're very proud of you. Yes, and remember, it's Psalms, Psalm 19, verse 14. Yes. Okay. So, we are in the season of Lent. And we're actually getting ready to start Holy Week right here. It starts with Palm Sunday. So remember, Lent is the 40 days, not including Sundays, from Ash Wednesday to the Saturday before Easter. This is a time to get close to God. You can have personal reflection that prepares your heart and minds for Good Friday and for Easter. And so we're going to learn all about Holy Week this week. We all are. The, the different days and the special meanings. Yes. Yeah, so. Get ready. So, all of Lent has been building to this Holy Week, and this is the final week before Easter. The real action begins at church this entire week, beginning with Palm Sunday. So, if you're watching today, today is Palm Sunday. And today is when we remember how Jesus rode into Jerusalem on the back of a donkey, just a, a lowly am, animal, instead of riding in on a stallion, which is a big fancy horse, speaking, and he spoke of peace instead of leading a great army. And the people waved palms in celebration as if they were welcoming a king. So we wave palms too on Palm Sunday. Some of those palms we fold into crosses and keep them in our homes all year until we bring them back to church, where each year they're burned to make ashes that are used for Ash Wednesday. Okay, and Thursday, April 1st, is called Maundy Thursday. On this day, we remember the Last Supper Jesus shared with his disciples. In John's Gospel, which is a book in the Bible, it tells us, how after the supper, Jesus washed the feet of his disciples. Now, back in Jesus's days, roads were not paved. They were dirt roads and they were very dusty. Everyone wore sandals and your feet got really, really dirty walking on those roads. Yeah. Ooh. Only servants washed a person's feet. When Jesus washed his disciples' feet, he gave them a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Mondi is the Latin word for command. So that is why this day is called Monday Thursday, because Jesus gave his disciples a new commandment. For this reason, we do a strange thing at the Monday Thursday service. We wash each other's feet. It can be awkward and uncomfortable to wash someone's feet, but it's humble and touching too. The minister washes the feet of a parishioner who then washes the feet of the next person and so on and so on until everyone's feet get washed. Yes, it really is a beautiful service. And then on Friday, which is April the 2nd, is called Good Friday. And this is a hard day to explain because this is the day that Jesus cried, died on the cross. And yet we call it Good Friday. On this day, Jesus, whom we love, was afraid, suffered, and died on a dark day when, sh when the soldiers shamed him. All of his friends left his side, 
and he wasn't sure that God was by his side. But God was by his side. God turned his fear, his suffering, and his dying into hope and wholeness and newness of life. We tell this story because Jesus is the light, the light that shines in the darkness. Darkness cannot overcome this light. Remembering this, that Jesus is the light, gives us comfort and makes us bold as we encourage others and ourselves to find goodness in the most difficult days. We are Easter people, so we look to Easter Sunday when Jesus rose from the dead. We know the promise that God makes to us in Jesus. God's power can transform anything. God's love is stronger than death. Okay, well on Saturday, April 3rd, that is the Great Vigil, Holy Saturday. The Great Vigil is one of the holiest nights of the year. The service, elements of which date back to the second century, begins in darkness. Because we've just had Good Friday, which, yeah. you know, Jesus is dead at that point. A really large candle called the Paschal Candle has been lit, and it is brought into the church with chanting, and individual candles are lit from it as the light of Christ spreads out in the congregation. The Paschal candle is a powerful symbol of the resurrection, and it is present at every baptism and funeral, and it will stay lit for each service for the 50 days of Easter. Yes, 50 days. Isn't that amazing? 50. This is how important Easter is to us. It's not one day. It's an entire season in the church year. By candlelight, the stories of God's saving deeds in history are told, always including the Exodus when the Jews were made to leave their country. People are baptized, alleluias are shouted and sung, bells are rung, and the Easter gospel is proclaimed. And everyone is fed with bread and wine made holy in communion. After the service, there is a big party in McCracken Hall with good food and drink called the Agape Feast. Agape is Greek and it means the love that is shared between God and his people. Yes, and it's a be that is another beautiful service. Yes, oh. it is. I oh. love that service. Absolutely. And then everybody, Sunday, April the 4th is Easter. Happy Easter. Oh, no, happy Easter. And this is such a special day that we celebrate great Christ, Jesus Christ's victory over death and with the gift of new life. We have eagerly awaited for this day, knowing hope and celebration will come again. But Jesus' dis Jesus's disciples and his first followers were utterly shocked when Jesus rose from the dead. Unlike us, they were living the story in real time. You will hear this exciting story at church or virtually on Easter Sunday. But a few of his followers, well, actually Mary Magdalene, went to the tomb to hope to pray at Jesus' tomb. And when she got there, the rock had been rolled away and Jesus was gone. She had no idea that this would happen. And it was the surprise of her life, a surprise that brought life-changing praise and joy. And she ran to tell the others, Alleluia, Jesus has risen. So do you remember at the beginning of Lent when we buried our Alleluia's? We colored them and we either hid them in our house or went outside and buried them in our yard. So on Easter, today is the day we go and unbury our Alleluia or find it wherever we had hidden it because finally we can say the word Alleluia. So, what I want to tell you is that Alleluia means praise the Lord. We haven't said it, like I said, for the entire season of Lent. And today, we celebrate God's powerful gift of new life. We raise our Alleluia 
And so when you and your family find your Alleluia, stand together and shout. Are you ready? I'm ready. Alleluia! Okay, well, I hope that uh, told you a little bit about some of the things that we normally would be doing right. during the church year and tells you about Holy Week, a very special, special time. So we have some crafts, of course, for you. Uh, you have in your little bags um, palm crosses, which Muffy talked about, um, Palm Sunday. And then these will get burned next year for Ash Wednesday. Yeah. They'll become our ashes to mark the start of another Lent as it goes around and around. Absolutely. So that, you'll have that. And then we also have uh, this resurrection egg carton. So there are eggs in here. Your parents have a sheet that will tell you a little bit about them. I'll show you the first one. Um, today is Palm Sunday. So egg number one, they're all numbered. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I know, I wonder what's in it. <gasps> it's a palm. Look how beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Hosanna. I know, Hosanna. Hosanna. Absolutely. When Jesus rode in on his donkey, people were waving long palm fronds. Yeah. And, welcome, and welcoming, welcoming Jesus. So that, so there is something special in each of the eggs. Um, and every day you can open one up and learn about yeah. something that has to do with the season of Easter yeah. and Jesus' death and his triumphant resurrection. Absolutely. So there's that. Yeah. So I think you all will enjoy finding out what's in each of these eggs. Oh, absolutely. And then also, too, we sent some coloring pages home with you this week. And these are um, COVID coloring sheets because if you can believe it, We've been wearing masks and socially distancing for a, over a year now. And these are just some real positive coloring sheets that um, just say how, you know, how much we love God and how he has brought us through such a trying time and how we've learned things and we've grown from our experience. So, and now what we're going to do is we're going to close with prayer. And so this is a Palm Sunday prayer that we're going to say for you. Praise God, praise God, praise God we say, welcoming Jesus along the way. Waving our branches of palms we say, Hosanna, Hosanna along the way. Welcome to Jesus our blessed King. Praise God, praise God, praise God we sing. Amen. Amen. Well, that's nice. I, I hope know. you all have a really happy Easter. I know. Me too. Have a wonderful week, and we'll look forward to seeing you again in April. Yes. Bye. Bye.